Hi everyone. Today I am going to fix the website hero section. So hero sections are very much important for the websites. And also I am going to explain about the best practices of using fonts, colors and implementing right images on the websites. Alright, so in this presentation I am using Figma and you can use any design tool whichever is your favorite or your convenient and you can also do the same thing. Alright, so let's get started. It's a student project hidden a website. So this is a home page hero section he is helping to sell for suitcases and bags. So currently what happened he had done for adding so many elements into this home page hero section. So basically the hero section should be very attractive. So if it is not attractive the people they may not scroll further and browse your products and the sale will not happen. Basically speaking is a very cluttered design. So as a beginner what happened you people are get excited with these kind of a design elements and everything. So I am going to remove the clutterness and make this design more clean. Alright. First I am going to duplicate this frame. And I just want to remove the clutterness. So this is a very vibrant background of paint splashes. Basically here if you want to sell the suitcases you have to focus the suitcases and bags. But here what happened this background of this paint splashes are distracting to the users. So first thing is I am going to remove that. Alright, so now it's been kind of clean. So the suitcase is showcasing very much well. And uh, this part is somewhat somehow has been clean. Alright, so now I am going to fix this the top area. So here he had uh, some two semicircles. I am going to delete that also. And so here he kept some vintage bags and the modern bag bags. So at the moment what I am going to do that I am going to Keep it aside. I don't want this being here inside the design. Alright. So now my design is something is little bit clean. And the major next one here. So the be stylish. In the word stylish he done a mask with a paint splash. So don't do these kind of a headlines. So I am going to remove this as well. So I am going to type look stylish be stylish. Alright, so now we fix the heading somewhat somehow, the heading also has been fixed. So now the next one I am going to make this. Personalize your So I made the heading into two lines. So the paragraph also into the five lines, I want to reduce the number of lines. So I changed the over here, I am going to expand the paragraph. Clean. So now the supporting text also being into the three lines. All right. I will make everything into the one small group and vertical center. So here there is an option called order now button. So I just want to move it down and I want to see the grid. So order now button size is about 52 pixel. It's not necessary. We'll make it like 44 and this is more stylish and uh, modern one so if you propose a modern design you have to use the sharp edges so sharp edges for the buttons otherwise it looks very funny it's not serious all right so now it's too sharp then you can plan for a little bit so i'm fixing the button now align make the group center perfect all right i just want to see the margin and everything is been available or not i'm going to the view area and i'm simply select the rulers yeah so already he fixed the rulers and uh, setting it up now this girl photo and i just want to make it a little bigger of the photograph yeah so this level is okay and now I'm coming to this header section. So header section, the logo has some sort of a extra margin. So, but we have to fix with along with the margin so that I move the logo into the 
left hand side towards to the margin. So now I fix the logo on the margin side. Now this section, so this is currently he kept it into the auto layout mode, but uh, these kind of a header menu items is not required into the auto layout mode in a web design. And what sort of a font? Still, I'm not coming to the font. First, I'm fixing the layouts only. So I simply move here and make it as spacing. Then this login button. So login button, I'll move towards to the right. And also this button should be same, something like corner radius should be sharp. All right. So now somewhat, somewhere we have fixed the layout. Next, I'm going to fix the fonts. All right. So he is using pop-ins, but is a semi-bold. In the menu section, this 16 font is good, but the semi-bold is not required. You can make it like uh, regular or medium. That is enough. All right. I'll keep it as a regular here. And this fonts and group everything. Again, ungroup and this one also regular, and this one is bold. And yeah, again, it's a regular, it's fine. And this font you want to make it like bold, and size would be 16. I'm going to reduce the button width. And here also, I'm going to fix the button height. What is that in the group? Oh. All right. So fix the height of the button, then align, then width of the button is 88. I'll make it like 96. All right. Then mixing make a group and i want to fix everything on align properly so i'm drawing one small rectangle in a vertical aspect yeah i fix the alignment as well now all the font colors so now i'm going to implement the colors here what happened everything is used as a full black so don't use this full black zero zero zeros Basically, this entire look and feel is about a little bit warm and a little bit dark. So what we can do this, we cannot implement this sort of a black color over here. So this is looks very dark and too strong over here. So what I'm going to do that I'm going to pick one color from the same photograph. But if you are going to do it for any uh, clients, you have to implement the clients uh, brand colors. But currently here for the Demonstration purpose, I'm going to pick the color from this suitcase. So that is a very dominant color. So we need one strong color for the typography. So currently I'm implementing that text color into the heading section. And this is also very little bit strong. So currently I'm into the HSL mode. I'm going to fix this with the lightness only I'm going to play. So I'm going to little bit darker and uh, saturation also i'm going to reduce the saturations perfect so now it's almost fixing this color along with almost this image color all right so now i'm going to adding the same color into the paragraph text so paragraph text i don't want this much strong i want more into the saturation so i need more saturation so i'm going to reduce the saturations as well as i want to increase the lightness so basically i'm fixing the contrast and fixing the header sections and fixing the paragraph color so now i'm going to take this color and i'm going to implement the same color into the menu sections cool now i want to implement this header color into this button and here Either we can have this. No, it's contrast is not sufficient. So I'm going to make it more lighter. Not necessary to be white. I'll make it light. 
same thing I am going to apply here. All right, so now we fix everything here. So we fix the font, we fix the menu section, we fix the header sections and the paragraph and buttons. Button also order now it's not relevant here, so we can change the text. We explode. So here there is a problem. So the problem is nothing but the girl's image. So the girl is actually speaking. She is looking into the towards to the top and uh, her gestures also not appropriate to direct to the content section so basically this is a very wrong image so you if you are going to implement any photographs or these kind of an images the human images what you have to do the human faces should be uh, looking at the directly looking at the camera so that if the audience or the user is visiting to your website they can be able to viewing that the photograph directly so that it looks directly to them so that that kind of a feel they may get so what will happen the people they are going to look at your photograph and uh, the hand gushes it should be pointing towards to your content area so if anybody visiting to the page they can look at your model face and they are following the gushes and the gushes also should be looking at your content so that they can be able to read and they can click on this button Alright, so this is how it has to be happen. But here what happened, this girl face is looking towards to the top and the gestures also a wrong direction. So we cannot flip this photograph. So we can fix it. And before that, if you want, we can add our one more image here. So I'm going to here. So very beginning, I was moving away these images. So I'm going to take only this bag and I'm going to keep it here. If you want, you can add some images. If you don't want, it's not necessary to adding the images. But here I'm going to add one more image over here. And I don't want these two images. I'm going to delete this. All right. So now I'm, I had added this image into this design. So currently, if anybody looking at this layout, they can be able to viewing. This is a suitcase and bags the people they are selling over here. All right. And this is an old one and this is a new one so this currently this image is a wrong posture so if you want you can leave it as it is it's not a big deal but if you want to fix that also we can fix it so i'm going to try out with one more variation i duplicate the same frame i'm going to draw one square big square then so I move that into this below the layer. Now, so now I'm moving towards to this directions. Perfect. Yeah. So I'm going to a little bit move it to the top. All right. So now I'm going to add in the color. So I'm going to decrease the lightness. And If you are going to add in the direction oriented layout, then what will happen if the people they are looking this image, then they are moving towards to the directions. This direction is pointing out our hero content section so that the people they can be able to read it very easily and they can be able to explore your products. So I told you earlier, so if you want, you can leave this design as it is, but you have to change the photograph but if you don't want to change the photograph, if you want to stick on the photograph, you have to add this sort of a layout and you have to fix the design. All right. I just want to showcasing you the beginning to the end. So this is what the design. So I'm fixing this design into this sort of a layout and I fix this with almost appropriate manner. I hope you like this topic and if you have any queries or thoughts, you can share it on comments. I will respond it there and also I am going to catch you soon with another interesting topic. Until then, bye-bye.